Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Dash Point. Okay, so in this photo tutorial, we're gonna check out how to implement double back press to exit in Flutter. Okay, so let's begin. So to achieve this, we are going to make use of a library called as double back to close. Okay, so this library makes use of a widget called as will pop scope that I have already made a video tutorial on the same. By making use of will pop scope widget, I have implemented double back press to exit. So if you want to make use of will pop scope widget, you can just check this video tutorial on my YouTube channel. You can go, you can just visit my channel and search over here back press to exit. And you will get this video tutorial where I have made use of will pop scope widget to achieve the same. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to make use of this library. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so now let's go to our Android Studio and add this dependency as an external library. Okay, so for that, just go to pop specification.yaml file and under dependency section, you need to add this dependency and hit this pop get button. So this library will get installed as an external library. So after doing that, just go to main.dart page or wherever you want to implement double back press to exit and import this package. Okay, so by doing that, you, uh, you can make use of this library. Okay, so now you can see over here we have a material app that's load uh, my home page that is our welcome page or a first screen that appears whenever the user opens the app. Okay, so for this page we need to wrap it with double back widget. Okay, so this double back widget comes with this library. Okay, so now let's go to this uh, widget and check out the properties that we can make use of. So just press control and click on on it okay so you can see there are some properties that is required that is a child widget that is our main page okay and there is a message a default message that is press back again to exit okay so these are the properties we will make use of it one by one okay so by default uh, now if i just wrap this widget with my home page and restart the app okay so you can see a message over here that is default message that has been attached to this widget okay and with a timer wait time of two seconds for a second back press okay so if a user back press again within two seconds our app will get exited so you can just customize it as per your needs you can make it three seconds four seconds as per your needs okay so you can just customize the message property so you can just uh, pass your own message so for that you can make use of message property and you can just pass the message so now you can see the message got changed okay so after two seconds our message is getting disabled means it is getting invisible okay so you can just uh, change the back second back press to 5 seconds, 3 seconds. So the standard time is 2 seconds for the back press. Okay. So I will just remove this. Okay. So now let's check out the other properties that is styling and everything. So now you saw our background color was gray by default. So let's change it. Background colors dot let's make it red and check it out hot refresh so you can see you can just change the background color of the toast message okay so you can also change the radius so let's say radius as 10 pixels so you saw the radius got changed okay so let's check other properties that is text telling okay text text style and over here you can just customize the font size let's make it 20 okay so let's check so you saw and you can also change the color of the text not refresh so you saw so these are the properties of a toast message Okay, so now if you want to uh, add a sneaky bar when a user back press to exit, so you can just do it easily. So there is a property uh, called as on back on first back press. So this is actually a function that runs when a user press back for a first time. Okay, so let's make use of it. 
on first back press so this is the function so over here we need to pass a context of the app this one okay so now here you can just uh, show any message or you can just show a pop-up or a dialog box for a user to exit the app okay so let's uh, show a sneaky bar over here so i have already uh, coded it so i'll just copy the code okay so i here i am just creating a sneaky bar to be shown to the user and when the user press i am just showing the message to the sneaky bar to the user okay so let's check it out now but refresh okay so back press so you can see there is a sneaky bar so now if i press within two seconds my app will get exited so you saw okay so that's all about this library hope you got the concept of how to implement double backpress to exit in flutter thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you